Welcome to our channel. Today we explore the Tower of Babel, a story of ambition, confusion, and the dawn of unification of humankind. In the aftermath of Noah's flood, within the vast open plain of Shinar, where the earth stretched wide and the sky reached beyond the grasp of man, humanity decided to start a new beginning. United by a single language, they shared dreams that soared as high as the heavens. It was in the land of Shinar that these dreams began to take shape, driven by a desire not just for survival, but for immortality. The plan was as simple in its statement as it was grandiose in its ambition, to build a city and a tower that reached the heavens, to make a name for themselves so profound that it would echo through the ages. This wasn't merely about constructing a building, it was about establishing a legacy. The flood had washed away the old world, leaving behind a canvas for the new. In this new world, the people of Shinar saw an opportunity to defy the transience of life, to create something permanent, something that could withstand the vicissitudes of time and nature. They envisioned a tower so magnificent that it would bridge the gap between man and the divine, a symbol of human capability and unity. As they set to work, their unity became their strength. The tower rose brick by brick, a testament to human will and cooperation. The people used bricks for stone and tar for mortar, innovations that represented the zenith of their technological prowess. These materials were more than just the building blocks of their tower. They were symbols of their resilience and ingenuity. The tower's ascent was relentless, each layer a step closer to their goal, each brick a defiance of the natural order. Yet, as the tower stretched towards the sky, it caught the attention of the divine. From the heavens, God observed their progress with a growing concern. This tower, a symbol of human unity and achievement, also represented a potential for hubris. It was a monument to humanity's ambition but also to their desire to overstep their mortal bounds. The unity that had enabled their progress now threatened to unbalance the cosmic order. In a decisive intervention, God chose to confound their language, turning their greatest asset into their most profound challenge. Communication, the foundation of their unity, became the instrument of their division. Words, once shared symbols of collaboration, became barriers. The tower, which had been a symbol of their collective ambition, now stood as a monument to their confusion. The project came to a halt, not for lack of will, but because understanding had evaporated in the babble of voices. This division was not merely linguistic, but geographic. As communication broke down, so did the bonds that held them together. Groups coalesced around shared languages, and from these groups sprang the diverse cultures and peoples that would populate the Earth. The tower, intended to be a beacon of human achievement, instead became a reminder of human limitation and the diversity born of divine intervention. The story of the Tower of Babel is a narrative rich with themes that resonate across millennia. It speaks to the human spirit, our drive to achieve and to leave behind a legacy that transcends our mortality. Yet, it also warns of the dangers of overreach of the hubris that comes when ambition blinds us to our limitations. At its core, the Tower of Babel teaches us about the value of diversity. The scattering of the people and the proliferation of languages might seem a punishment, but they can also be seen as a gift. Through this divine act, humanity was given the seeds of diversity that would bloom into the rich tapestry of cultures that enrich our world today. This diversity, born of division, has become a source of strength, creativity, and beauty. The Tower of Babel also underscores the importance of communication. In the story, the loss of a common language leads to the collapse of a collective dream. In our world, where communication has the power to bridge vast distances and cultural divides, this lesson is particularly poignant. It reminds us that understanding and cooperation are fragile, precious things, easily lost but worth striving for. As we navigate the complexities of our modern world, 
the story of the Tower of Babel offers a lens through which to view our challenges and aspirations. It teaches us the importance of humility, the value of diversity, and the need for communication in fostering a more connected, understanding world. In its narrative are lessons for today and hope for tomorrow, a reminder that even in division, there is the potential for greater understanding and unity. Reflect on the lessons of Babel in our world today. Share your thoughts and subscribe to receive more of our biblical stories.